Welcome and thank you very much for checking out my review of Greyhound, the latest Apple TV original directed by Aaron Schneider and written by Tom Hanks, also starring Tom Hanks. And man, I really wanted to like this movie. The film follows a first-time captain as he leads a convoy of allied ships carrying thousands of soldiers across the treacherous waters of the Black Pit to the front lines of World War II. Now, just like anyone else, I love my war dramas. I love Tom Hanks, because who doesn't? And I was really excited to see Tom Hanks as a screenwriter in a film. I know he has directed in the past and he has also wrote. And I actually enjoy Tom Hanks as a director. His screenplays have not been the strongest up until now and unfortunately this one doesn't change it. Now I love Tom Hanks as an actor and he is awesome in this. He is Tom Hanks. He is lovable, he's relatable, he's an everyman. His performance is as genuine as it can be. And you can say that about every Tom Hanks performance in every movie. I don't remember ever seeing this man phoning it in. He's one of the best actors working today and he's great in this one as well. Also this film is shot well. Shots are well composed, shots are well lit, cinematography is good, the visual effects are quite nice to look at. Unfortunately, everything beside that just doesn't work. What this film feels like is that for 90 minutes, you constantly watch a scene happening over and over again, just slightly changed every time it repeats. I actually watched this film the same day I watched Palm Springs and I felt like I was stuck in a time loop, but while watching this film and not Palm Springs, which was extremely weird. Structurally, this film just is contempt at repeating whatever it has done before, because that's really what this film does. I really can't find any other way to explain what happens in this film, the events, because it's literally that. There's one day of events, then we cut the next day, or like two days after that, and it's basically the same sequence of events all over again, just slightly changed. Tom Hanks constantly is writing letters to this one woman he loves, played by Elizabeth Shue. He constantly writes letters to her. He's not eating a lot. The chef in the ship that he is in is trying to get him to eat, and he's always giving different food suggestions, so that's another slight change from scene to scene. And they are attacked and they attack and retaliate in different ways. So that's another slight change. They have different problems with their ships. It's one of those occasions where this story might be awesome in a book, and I understand this, this story is real, so I mean no disrespect to the people and the soldiers who went through these events in real life. It must have been grueling, it must have been awful, and I do not heavy them, and I respect them tremendously. But did it really need to be a movie? And if it did, this is not the way that it should be executed in. Unlike previous wartime epics, Greyhound lacks the grit, suspense, the complex characterization, which doesn't allow this film to elevate itself to be a great modern drama. Even previous wartime dramas that Hanks himself helmed, this one just can't replicate the effect of the ones that came before. And I honestly do not mean to compare, but Hanks is such a staple of war dramas that this one feels lacking, especially when you notice that it's 90 minutes, only 90 minutes for a war drama. Now, when the results are these, I actually don't mind that it was only 90 minutes and that they spared me everything else. But from the get-go, it feels that it lacks that certain spark, that certain individuality, that certain great dramatization in the script, in the characters, in the story, in the themes that so many other movies have, and those elements are the ones that made them great and made it so that we are still talking about them today. Greyhound is visually, in the literal sense, a film that can seem appealing. But unfortunately, just when you dive below the surface, 
It lacks the dimensions and dynamics that should make it truly interesting and unique. Unfortunately, it just doesn't have those very important elements that should be the very foundation of a film like this. I'm giving Greyhound a C. Now, my beautiful geekies, what did you think of Greyhound? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know is your favorite Tom Hanks-led war drama. Thank you so much for watching. You are the best. Stay tuned for many more reviews coming this weekend and in this next week. I hope to see you there. And so till the next video, stay beautiful, stay geeky, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video because it really helps me and the channel out. But most importantly, everything else forever and always, love each other and love the movies.